guys okay welcome back to my channel so I asked on Facebook what you guys wanted to see as far as my next video and you guys all said the wing eyeliner yes the wing so um, if you want to see how I created this wing please keep watching okay so what I'll be using as far as uh, the eyeliner brush to draw out my eyeliner will be this Mac 266 brush. It's an angled brush and it's very very th thin so it helps with a precise edge. And then uh, the shadow that I'll use is just any black eyeshadow so I'll just be using the NYX Primal Colors in Hot Black. Okay, so just get my mirror here. So I'm just going to take this shadow eyeliner brush and dab it into my eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm just going to tap it off and then I tilt the brush kind of upside down and I'm already going to create my wing. So um, when you're looking at your mirror, you hold your head straight and then just look down and you want to go right out here and you see your bottom lash line you want to follow that up so from the bottom just want to trace that out like so remember this is eyeshadow so you can just take a uh, q-tip and erase whatever edge you don't like if you don't like the edge and so you create that line right there then you look back to see how it looks with your eyes closed and then I kind of raise my eye just a little bit and I take whatever eyeshadow I've left on here and I connect it down like so and then I start filling in that triangle right at the base of my eyelid like so. And then if you want to make it dramatic, you can always go back and just extend some more of that. So here we go. Looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. So I'm just going to dab some more in there. To the eyeshadow, tap off the excess, and then follow through the baseline. So I'll take it and I'll just go right along that lash line. And just do little swiping motions, just small little swiping motions. And as you go in towards the corner of your inside of your corner of your eye, you want to make the line smaller and as you go out you make it wider and up so kind of go like that and there's your base I mean you can do eyeliner just like this just simple eyeshadow until you get the hang of it but um, I like to make it darker and so what you could do is you could dab your eyeshadow into the brush like so and then I'll just take some setting spray and I'll spray it and then it'll be a little wet and then I'll just go back in And use that wet eyeshadow to set everything that I just put. And then you want to make sure you get in here. Oh, 
like it. Okay, then I'll take my Ultra Skinny Eye Marker in black, and this one is by Crown, and it just looks like this. And then um, it has a felt tip like so. You see how that comes out? Look at that. Very good pigment. Then I just go back over it. And I just go over everything that I had traced out with the eyeshadow. So just with a light hand, just go back, little dab motion, like so. I want to do this with a light hand. And then just go back and just kind of fill in that whole area again. Make sure you stick very close to that lash line. And then as you go up, just follow that same line. Make sure you get that edge. And there's your wing eyeliner. Take your brush again, dip it into the shadow. Tap the excess off, and then look at the other eye. And the only way I, the way I figure how to keep it level is always use your bottom lash line as your guide. And now, not everybody's eye is the same, so you kind of have to work. And that's what the Q-tip's for. So if you can, if you end up going up too high, then you can kind of shade it back down. But if you end up going too low, you can just take the edge of this Q-tip and clean it this up and I'll show you so because I tend to mess up on my left eye so take the excess off and then look down remember right here start here you want the tip of the brush like so see how it is like right here the tip of the brush turn it upside down and you want to work going back this way. This is how I place it, like, like that. So just lightly. See that? Very light. Just dab it on there. Check to see if it's even. And then whatever's left over, I just take the top of that line and I create a triangle all the way down to my lash line. See that triangle? And then you just take the rest of your eyeshadow and just fill that little fill that space up. And if you go outside of it, don't worry. We'll clean it up with a Q-tip. Make sure you fill it in that there's no sparse areas. Dab in your eyeshadow again, tap, tap, and then just go to the lash line and work your way back to the inside corner of your eye. Okay, so um, if you could see here, I went a little bit outside so I'll just take some setting spray and spray my q-tip it's a little wet and I go to that eye and I just take the best kind of the ones with the point and you just kind of clean up that edge like so and then 
kind of brush away if you made the tail too long. Then I'll take my marker again and I'll just trace over everything I did. With a light hand, remember, just kind of color, trace over everything. Just want to make it kind of dark. I love the bold black. And then as I work in, little dabs. Just use that tip of that marker to really work that outside edge. So this eye looks a little bit longer, so it looks like I'll need to extend this eye. And what we do to do that is just take that tail and then just go out. Okay guys, so here is the final look of the winged eyeliner. So yeah. I hope you guys liked it. I hope my instructions were easy to follow. And like always, you always have these babies to help you out when you make a mistake. These are your best friend besides this one. Alright guys, thank you for watching and until then, bye bye.